a very good morning students today we'll be doing a topic called hydrogen spectrum now this is a part of class 11 cbsc unit 2 structure of atom now in this particular topic since we're talking about spectrum you need to pass the radiation through a prism so that it gets split into its components since we are going to talk about hydrogen spectrum i am talking about the emission spectrum fine so I have taken the hydrogen gas in a vacuum tube and it is connected to a very high voltage. Once it is connected to a very high voltage, the hydrogen atoms inside the vacuum tube gets excited and then at a point they start giving out light. These radiations which are given out by hydrogens are then made to pass through a slit. The slit purpose is only to concentrate the beam, nothing else. So the light passing through the slit is the concentrated beam and it goes and hits a prism. The function of the prism is refraction or dispersion which would cause the components of the light to be separated and apart from this you should have observed a line like this but actually you observe a deflection and you get the components on this. These the lights which are falling from the prism are then taken onto a photographic film and these lines are the your hydrogen spectrum or humko in co analyze kar. this hydrogen spectrum which i am talking about looked like this the hydrogen spectrum had lines lot of lines all over the area that is in the uv region in the visible region as well as in the infrared region the first to be identified were these because they were in the visible region it was easy and these lines were observed by Balmer and he called these lines as the Balmer series. They were in the visible region so they were easily identified and they were named as the Balmer series. And this person also gave the wave number for these lines. So, if you have a wave number, so, wave number kya hota hai? Inverse of wavelength. So, wavelength bhi nikaal loge. Aur agar wavelength malum hai, to frequency nikaal loge. C by lambda. Done. And finally, energy of the radiation bhi nikaal loge because it is H C by lambda. Am I clear on that? Balmer gave a formula to find the wave number. Wave number agar aapke paas a gaya, to wavelength to nikaal loge by inversing it. Once you get the wavelength, you can calculate the frequency, C by lambda karke. What is C? Frequ the velocity of light, 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. Lambda should be taken in meters and then the energy of the radiation. Which means, agar aapko line ka wave number nikaal liya, to uske baad you can easily find the wavelength, frequency, energy, anything that is asked. Later on, after Balmer, I will be doing this a little later. After Balmer, little later, there were lines found in the ultraviolet also and they were named as the Lehman series. You should know the names of the series in which region. Ultraviolet region had Lehman, then you had Balmer, then you had Paschen, Bracket, Fund with the Peace Island and Humphrey. You will not find this in many books. The reason is it was found very late, somewhere in 1993 this was discovered. So books do not have this information, fine. So if you are asked in the hydrogen spectrum which lines are observed in the ultraviolet region, the answer is Lehman. Which are observed in the infrared, it could be any of these. Which are observed in the visible, it is this. As you can very well see, the lines are in this order and you know we have the Balmer series here visible. Ultraviolet has a higher energy. This is the side of energy of the radiations or the frequency of the radiations. So, if we talk about Humphrey, they would have the least frequency and minimum energy. Fine. Now, coming to the formula given by Balmer for the wave number of the spectral lines. This was the formula given by Balmer for his series of lines saying that wave number can be found by the formula 109677 this is a constant value found by Balmer 
and he gave the formula is 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon n square. Units were centimeter inverse. Mind you, you would be requiring the units in meter inverse which we would change a little later. Now, what is the value of n? Now, n has to be greater than 2. Why? Why should n be greater than 2? Agar beta, ye 2 se kam ho jayega, this value will come out to be negative. You cannot have the wave number to be negative. Also, it was always found to be a whole number, which means n can have only values as 3, 4, 5 up to infinity. Infinity bhi to ho sakta hai. Achha, ek minute. If n is infinity, what you need to understand is, agar n infinity hai, to you very well know, 1 upon infinity is taken to be 0. So, 1 upon infinity square would also be taken to be 0. So, when you substitute its infinity, there is, it becomes 0. And if it becomes 0, there is no subtraction. Agar kuch subtract nahi hua, that means the wave number value will be the highest. Which means, if you, in this particular formula, if you require wave number to be maximum, then what you need to do is, you need to take n to be infinity. This is to be remembered. If you want wave number to be maximum, then this has to be taken as infinity and if you want wave number to be minimum, then n is to be taken as 3 so that you have a maximum subtraction here. I would redo the formula for you. There is a variation in the formula which I will do in a minute. Now, this particular formula can be rewritten as V bar is equal to 1.09677 into 10 to the power 5. 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon n square. Now, can I call this as 1.1 into 10 to the power 5, 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon n square, v bar in centimeter inverse. Is this much clear? Now, I need this value to change into meter inverse. What do I do? So, when you take the v bar, and you want it in meter inverse, centimeter ko meter kaise banate? Divided by 100. But this is centimeter inverse, which means it is in the denominator. Centimeter inverse ko meter inverse banane ke liye, you will have to divide it by 100, but in the denominator. Agar denominator mein by 100, divide karna hai, which means actually multiply karna hai na? Which means denominator mein agar aap kisi na, for example, 3 by 5 hai. Ye 5 वाला सेंटीमीटर इनवर्स है तो डिनोमिनेटर में आपको सेंट इनवर्स है तो नीचे है तो डिनोमिनेटर वाले को डिवाइड बाय 100 करना है तो अगर 5 को डिवाइड बाय 100 करना है तो एक्चुअली तो वो ऊपर जाएगा सो द एक्चुअल वैल्यू बिकम्स 1.1 10 टू द पावर 7 एंड नॉट 3 1 अपॉन 2 स्क्वायर माइनस 1 अपॉन n स्क्वायर इज द फार्मूला दैट यू वुड यूज फॉर न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑफ द बार्बर सीरीज फाइन 1.1 is the rounded off which is okay. You can easily do that. There is no harm in doing that. Okay. Now moving ahead. Later on it was found that for other radiations also we require a formula. And when it was decided that you require a formula for the other re regions also there was a new formula devised. This formula is called as the Redberg's formula. Now, this formula is applicable for all the lines in the hydrogen spectrum. Matlab koi se bhi lines. But the lines that we had done in the hydrogen spectrum were in all the regions and we had tried to study them. Now, when we talk about the hydrogen spectrum, the lines are found in all the regions which were as we just did. Lehman, Balmer, Pasteur, Brackett, Fund and Humphrey. They are in all the region. The formula which was given by Balmer was only for the visible lines. But the formula which was given by Redberg is applicable to all the lines. And the formula was V bar again is equal to 109677 1 upon n1 square minus 1 upon n2 square in centimeter inverse. Changing the formula as we did for Balmer, I would be writing as 1.1. 10 to the power 7 as I had explained n1 square minus n2 square in meter inverse because you require meter is the unit of wave number fine. Now this is the formula that we use. Now in this particular formula the important fact is this is 
fixed for the lines and this is variable. So, when we talk about the lines in the spectrum, we find that you have this value is fixed. What were the lines? The lines were Lehman, Balmer, Paschen, Bracket, Fund with a P and Humphrey. Now, for all these, it was found that the N1 value and the N2 value. The N1 value for Balmer you very well know is 2. N2 can be higher than N1. So, it is 3, 4, 5 up to infinity. Similarly, for Lehman N1 is 1, N2 should be higher than N1, therefore 2, 3, 4 up to infinity, so on. For partition it is 3, this goes to 4, 5 up to infinity, this is 4, it goes to 5, 6, 7 up to infinity, this goes to 5, this is 6, 7, 8 up to infinity and the last is then you use 6 and this is 7, 8, 9, 10, so on up to infinity. So, if you are asked to find out the wave number of any of these lines, you would be using this particular formula and remember Lehman is in the ultraviolet region, this is in the visible region, rest 3, 4 are in the infrared region, fine. Now, we would be doing some questions to get the concept clearer. Is that okay? Let us move on to the first questions. I would not be solving the questions totally, but I would be helping you out. That is the question of the day. Calculate the wavelength and the energy of the line in the Balmer, which means Balmer formula use karna. So, the formula that you have is this, I am not substituting this value, this is to be thought. Now, coming to this particular formula, we have calculate wavelength and the energy of a line in the Balmer series having minimum wave number. Aapko wave number minimum karna hai. Minimum karna hai matlab subtraction maximum honi chahiye. Now, this value, the N2 value here can be 3, 4, 5 up to infinity. Agar ye value infinity dal denge, to ye value 0 ho jayegi. 0 matlab no subtraction. No subtraction matlab wave number would be maximum. But you require minimum wave number. So, you use this for minimum wave number and you use this for maximum wave number. So, when you require this, this is your minimum wave number, you use 3. Agar wave number minimum hai, to lambda maximum hoga, frequency minimum hogi, energy bhi minimum hogi. Similarly, when you use it infinity, then it is V bar is maximum, lambda is minimum, frequency is maximum and energy is also maximum. So, here you want minimum wave number, ye kam chahiye, ye kam chahiye, yani yahan pe subtraction maximum honi chahiye. The subtraction maximum matlab you have to use 3 square, rest you can do it yourself. The second part, this was the A part coming to the second part. The B part says again in the Balmer line you want maximum frequency. Frequency agar maximum chahiye, therefore wavelength minimum chahiye because frequency is equal to c by lambda. Agar frequency is other chahiye, the wavelength should be less. If the wavelength is less, also v bar is equal to 1 by lambda. If wavelength is less, you want v bar to be maximum. Actually, this means nothing but v bar maximum. When would the v bar be maximum? Let us substitute the formula for the second part. For calculations, you can use 1.1, 1. 1. 1 upon 2 square minus something. Now, you want this value to be maximum. Maximum frequency ka matlab wavelength kam, which means wave number should be maximum. Maximum wave number kab hoga? Jab the subtraction is least. That means you substitute here as infinity square, which would be 0. So, this value would be 1.1, 10 to the power 7 into 1 upon 4, this is 0 and your answer is in, sorry, meter inverse is your V bar. Fine. Moving to the next question. 
this is the next question calculate the frequency of the lowest wavelength of the fund series now what do we know about the fund series for the fund series the information that we have is in the fund series you would use n1 to be 5 and n2 is to be thought either it is 6 or it is infinity fine infinity kab use karna hai? when you want v bar to be maximum fine so 6 and 6 is the 6 or infinity is to be thought 5 is understood all right so we put on the fund series v bar is equal to 1.1 10 to the power 7 1 upon 5 square minus 1 upon what is to be found? I am taking it in meter inverse. Now, beta. Lowest wavelength. Agar aapko wavelength kam chahiye, V bar is equal to 1 by lambda. Wavelength kam to V bar is maximum. So, what you are heading for is, you want this to be a maximum value. Maximum value kab hoga? When the subtraction is less. Which means, this has to be infinity square again. So, your V bar answer would be 1.1 10 to the power 7 divided by 25 meter inverse is your answer. The calculations can be done yourself. Coming to the last question with which I will close the topic. Calculate the energy of the highest frequency of the Paschen series. Coming to the Paschen series, what was the Paschen series? Paschen series in the IR region is this, where N1 is 1 and N2 can be any of these. Fine. So, N1 is 3 and N2 can be 4 onwards. So, substituting the value for the Paschen series, the formula is V bar is equal to 1.1 10 to the power 7. This you can write 1.09. Ki bajai you can round it off to 1.1. So, for the Paschen series, you have 1 upon 3 square that is 9 minus is to be thought over meter inverse. Now, better. The agenda is highest frequency. Calculate the energy of the highest frequency. Frequency maximum chahiye. To wavelength minimum chahiye. To wave number maximum chahiye. Is that clear? You require frequency highest chahiye. Frequency is equal to C by lambda. Agar frequency highest chahiye to wavelength minimum. Wavelength minimum kab hoga? Wave number jab highest ho. Or wave number highest kab hoga jab subtraction minimum ho again. So, you require minimum subtraction, yani this has to be infinity square. So, your V bar is equal to 1.1 into 10 to the power 7 divided by 9 meter inverse is V bar. But the question does not ask you V bar. Question me to energy manga hai. So, energy of this radiation is equal to H mu, which is equal to H C by lambda. Is this much clear? So, when I talk about this formula, can I rewrite it as? H into C into 1 by lambda. Can I rewrite it as energy is equal to H C V bar. H into C into V bar. Is that okay? Now let us substitute the values. Therefore, your answer would be H is equal to 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. C is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. And you have to multiply this by this value. Let this value be x. So, you have to multiply it by x here and you would get your answer. Please do not forget the answer would be in joules. Is that okay? With this, I close the topic of the day which was hydrogen spectrum. My next class would have the class topic would be de Broglie's relationship. Fine. Till then. Take care of yourself, stay safe, stay blessed, please keep liking the videos if you are understanding them and please share it with your friends also. Thanks a ton kids, bless you loads.